about the place, and we know a lot about the characters, don't we? Notice we have some direct characterization and a lot of indirect characterization, right? Okay? If you want, you can jot down who the three main characters of our story are. They are, of course, the devil, they are Tom Walker, and, of course, Tom Walker's wife. Okay? The second part of the, of the plot hill, though, is a little more interesting. We said that good stories have a conflict. That conflict, remember, here we are on our whiteboard, can either, a struggle, a conflict, that conflict can either be internal, character versus himself or herself, or external, character versus another character, character versus nature, character versus society or an idea. Question, what for you at level 2B, what for you is the primary conflict or struggle of this story? Do you see, for example, the primary conflict as, this is a story about a character, namely Tom Walker, struggling with himself, wanting lots of stuff, greed. But at the end of the story, he can't live with himself and the decisions that he made. Is that the primary conflict of the story for you? Or rather, for you is the conflict, the character, Tom Walker, versus the devil. And back and forth they dance. That famous idea of dancing with the devil means what? It comes from the Faust story. In other words, you better be careful because you can dance with the devil, but a lot of times the devil in the end is going to jack you. So is this a story about character versus character as the primary conflict? Is it a story about the character, Tom Walker, versus nature? And more particularly, the forces of the woods? Hmm. Is this a story about character versus the society's ideas about is it a good thing or a bad thing to make lots of money? And how you make that money matters. Notice that really good stories sometimes can have multiple potential conflicts. Go ahead and jot down for you which one is your favorite. And then remember what we said back to my whiteboard. Uh-oh, remember this? The climax of a story has everything to do which con with which conflict that you focus on. Jot down what for you, you think of as the climax of the story. Let's begin with just eighth grade language. What for you is the most exciting moment in the story? What for you is the moment in the story when everything turns? A lot of students will say it's that second conversation with the devil when he decides to go ahead and go forward and sell a soul. Some readers will say, no, I don't think so. I kind of like the end of the story when all of a sudden he makes a comment about, I don't have any money, I haven't made a farthing, the devil can take my soul if I had, which is an obvious lie, and all of a sudden, guess what? The devil shows up and says, time to take a ride. On the pony you go, you have no protection, off you go. Where do you, where do you see the climax of the story? And now let's quickly jump to 2A. This story is designed to teach a certain kind of message. Jot down what you think that message is. Is it, don't take walks in the woods? No. What is the message of this story in your estimation? Some will often say it has to do with the whole thing of making choices. Don't be greedy. Don't be selfish. What's the opposite of selfish? To be what? Generous, right? In other words, live your life with generosity. Don't hold on to the stuff that you get. Share it with other people. Be a generous person so that in the end of your life, you will have a good reputation. You'll have no regrets. Okay? Final 3B question. We asked early on, if you had one choice, what would that choice be? Ask about your choice again and ask this simple question. Did you make a choice that would affect other people as well in a positive way? Now this is a very interesting question because if I asked you what would be the one choice and you said ten million dollars, were you asking for ten million dollars for yourself, Tom Walker, or are you asking ten million dollars so that you could help alleviate the pain and suffering of lots of other people? Hmm, very interesting question. When you thought about what one thing you would want, was it because it's about 
you? Or is it because it's about other people? What does our story suggest? Choosing when it's about other people is a better choice than just choosing that it's about you. So there you go, an introduction to a really famous American story, The Devil and Tom Walker. Thank you.